Okay, we're in chapter 17, and we're in section 8, calculations with equilibrium constants. And we have to determine K from initial concentrations and measured pH. So in class exercise 5, it says we have a 0.1 molar solution of lactic acid with a pH of 2.43. Determine the Ka for lactic acid. So your overall reaction... Will look like this and this is in solution I'm simply omitting the states of matter they will all be a Q except for water will be liquid your lactic acid is here it's in water it's going to dissociate it's going to give you the lactate ion and a hydronium ion okay so we've got our Ka equals the concentration of the hydronium ion times this ion here, your lactate ion, and you divide it by the concentration of lactic acid, which looks like this, okay? So we're going to do an ice table. And you've got an initial concentration of 0 0.1 molarity. This concentration is zero, and this is this concentration is zero, zero initially. Your change is going to be minus x plus x and plus x. That means that equilibrium is 0 0.1 minus x. This would be x, and this would be x. Okay, and if you take your pH, which is at 2.43, then the hydronium ion concentration is going to be equal to 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative 2.43. That means it's going to be 3.7 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Okay, so this concentration here is your hydronium ion concentration over here at equilibrium. So that means that this concentration equals this concentration, so they are the same. So now, since we have all of that information, we can go ahead and put it in here. Your Ka for lactic acid is going to be X times X, and then that's divided by your 0.1 minus x. So we substitute this in for x, and you're going to end up with 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 for the Ka. Now, we can also do student exercise number 7. Student 7 says, if 0 0.055 moles of butanoic acid is dissolved in water to produce a liter solution with a pH of 2.72, determine Ka for the acid. Okay, so butanoic acid 
in this. You're putting it in water. And again, I'm omitting states of matter, but this is all occurring in solution. This is AQ, this is liquid. You're going to form two ions. And if I take this and I put an ice table underneath it, my initial concentration is going to be 0 0.055, because it's 0 0.055 moles divided by one liter, which is just 0 0.055 molarity. We have none of these ions in solution initially, so the concentration is zero molarity. This is minus x, this is plus x, and this is plus x at equilibrium. It's 0 0.055 minus x, and this would be x, and this would be x. They gave us a pH of 2.72. That means I can calculate the hydronium ion concentration. So the hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the negative pH. This is 1.9 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity. Okay, so this concentration is my hydronium ion concentration here at equilibrium, which means it's also the other ion concentration at equilibrium, the butanoate negative 1. concentration. So my Ka is x times x divided by 0 0.055 minus x. I can substitute this value in for my x's. You're going to end up with 6.8 times 10 to the negative 5 for your Ka.